Well, hey guys, Chad the Horrible Modeler here, and we got another kit getting started here at the 1 1000 TOS Enterprise Space Seed Edition. Um, this will be my first original series Enterprise that I've ever built. I've watched a lot of you guys build them and have been wanting to build one forever. Definitely wanted to build a 350 scale, but I figured I would start small. Um, since I've already done the 1 1000 NX01, I'm going to do this, then I'll progress on up the ladder. So, um, got a build thread going on, sci-fi model action, uh, showing some uh, more pictorial updates and stuff. But I uh, just wanted to show you what I got going on here before I get going too far. Um, your basic stuff. I've got all the windows drilled out so I am gonna light this I love the challenge of lighting these little kits the hard thing with this kit is it's all completely flat there's no markings at all except for the teardrops or teeth or whatever you want to call them eyebrows um, everything is completely flat so when it comes to making your windows it's pretty difficult because you pretty much got to eyeball everything. Um, what I've done in some areas is I've trimmed out the decals and I've kind of laid them over, traced them out to get the windows kind of where they should be. Uh, but, you know, with these small kits, you know, you can't keep them scale. You can't make them that big. You can't get files in there and everything. So you just got to kind of wing it. Um, the top section of the saucer was the one that presented the, the most challenge just because I wanted to try to get your uh, the big lights uh, here, let's see, here, 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 and here uh, lined up. Um, what I did for these two is I cut the decal out and... I basically positioned it where the windows are going to be and traced that out and drilled that and then just kind of took a ruler and went straight back and got those two right there. So that's uh, pretty much where I'm at with all that, getting ready to light block everything. Uh, I've got my uh, RGB LEDs. I'm going to be doing the production version, so it'll have the glowy spinny looking type of nacelles which uh, are about yay big I should be able to stuff eh, three or four of the RGBs up in there to give that nice kind of glowing effect so that ought to be pretty neat so let's see let me um, let me cut this part of the video here and I'm going to get to work on light blocking and stuff. And uh, we'll be back and uh, show you the next update with some more progress. See you guys soon. Okay, guys. <clears throat> back here on the bench here. And I've almost got the saucer completed. I have LED tape to light all of the different window sections. And to give some light for the sensor domes and bridge areas. And underneath these big blobs of tulip, I have the green and red nav lights. Now, on the top, where I drilled out the larger windows and extra holes there that you see in the production version. Uh, what I've done is I have glued in some clear uh, matte sprayed styrene to diffuse the light. And what I'll do at the end is I will fill those holes up with canopy glue to bring them even to the surface so everything matches so let's fire this puppy up real quick here
show you what we're looking at. All my wires are all secured. Everything is tested. Everything is coated with uh, liquid electrical tape. I'm going to connection here, obviously, on the trunk wires that keeps going out. So there's what we got. Windows in the front. And same thing on the bottom side. Where I have the clear piece in, actually. So next part is uh, to get this thing all glued up and uh, probably uh, start filling the scene line. So we'll be back and show you that here in a minute. All right, sports fans, now that we have everything all lit up and ready to go, let's put this saucer together. Got plenty of clamps over here. Got our two saucer halves with all of our wires going through. And I'm going to be using the thicker of the Tamiya cement. And I'm going to be using the old squeeze the seam technique where we're going to put glue a generous amount around through there, clamp these two together. The glue is going to seep out of the seams and it's going to help fill that gap. So that way, whenever we come around to doing our normal gap filling, all we'll have to do is sand that down. And we shouldn't have much left over. So, first things first, just gonna start applying the glue a generous amount all the way around. had to make some trimming adjustments to the guide posts. It seems like no matter what, whenever you start adding lights, even if you're using thinnest wire possible, you always have to do some kind of trimming on the the registry tabs never fails. Try not to bore everybody here. Do this in real time so you can kind of get an idea of what uh, I'm talking about. one of those type of techniques that a lot of people overlook when it comes to seam filling is that your parts fit is really where it all starts and stops because if you have a horrible fit you're going to have a horrible time getting the gaps taken care of. Stuff has a good working time, so we don't have to worry about any of that. So it's going to get a little bright. I always like to turn the lights on when I'm doing this, just to make sure I don't have any mistakes. Things get turned off. I'm going to align my one mounting post that I have still pull my wires down through and just start pressing everything down together making sure everything's lined up got some clicks going on so that's good Drop a bunch of my pegs.
Not bad. And we're just going to start clipping this thing together. Going some random spots. All over the model, all the way around until you see the little light leaks disappear. Now it's going to be impossible to get all of it, but we will try. We need something with a little bit more authority here, as you can see. You know, lights keep flickering out, but as you can see, everything is still lit up on the top and the bottom. And if you start to look all the way around the model, turn that off, and you can see that. Uh, we pretty much have the whole uh, gap like you can see here you know you're, you don't see any light leaking coming out of any of those so that's what we're going for everything looks pretty good so this is obviously going to have to set up for some time and uh, probably after it sets up for, I'll probably let this part set up for the night. And uh, we'll see how everything is looking tomorrow. And um, if it's looking pretty bad, then we will apply more glue just to the outside edge and let that all drip in there. But we got to get a good solid connection first. So, that's our saucer. Has all glued together. And that's it.